I'm on a journey, as we all are. I now call myself a practicing visual and sound artist. I started out as a committed painter and changed tracks at the junction, I guess. I find the language of uh, painting and music and sound just so literally similar. It was um, an easy adjustment, if you like. My areas in field recording, electronic processing, tonal sound and soundscape composition, which is what I mainly do. This is a more acousmatic piece that I have played on a diffusion system at the University of Greenwich, a loudspeaker orchestra, which I really love having the opportunity to do. It's the way that sound can emanate into a large space or into any kind of area. It can fill it and therefore spread around and move around the space. Everything else I make currently is on a very small scale. <laughs> Having come into the experimental sound music and improv scene quite late, I have to say I encountered absolutely no problems with being a woman. The crowd I've been getting to know are very generous with their knowledge and time and this always been happy to work with me from the very beginning. So that that helps give you confidence as well. When as a painter in the 80s, I lived in Madrid and things happened like I was expected to sleep with the art critic by the gallery director when I had a solo show. Um, of course I didn't um, and I don't imagine this happens much anymore. And I think there are laws in place now to protect women, I certainly hope so. When you're a young woman and you first come across this barrier, um, it's much and it's much more difficult to be assertive. Luckily, I was I was good at saying no, but it did leave me feeling really awful and very humiliated and helpless and powerless, anxious even. I imagine the working world to be much better now, though I have no doubt that young women still have a harder time, especially in certain industries. As I'm older now and less ambitious, I just don't get harassed anymore. I tend to be true to myself, whatever's going on around me. I was actually the only woman represented by this gallery and I realised in retrospect that um, I didn't get the same exposure as the men who seemed to move on to better things. My father's always supported me in my artistic endeavours so I always thought I could do anything I wanted to. However, the outside world 
soon tells you it's a bit different from that. Chronic health conditions held me back far more in my career, actually, than uh, in being a woman. Not because of prejudice, but physically, as I had to stop doing so much, and, and I've lost many years to ill health. But I don't see myself as a disabled artist either. 